Hello and welcome to the Fieldcraft server. My name is Weird and Bearded and look, yes, I know we need to talk. I already have a lot of unfinished projects on the server. For example, we have the double witch farm over at the uh, swamp, which I haven't even got connected to anything yet. It just does things. There's no uh, system for collecting blocks or anything like that. We have the Weird and Bearded Warehouse and Bunker Ocean Monument Rental Service. Be amazed that I got that right. This has already taken a few takes. Um, we need to get that all connected to the nether, get that all set up, ready to rent things. Even the slime farm needs to be fully decorated. I barely made a start on that one. But here we are. About to start something new. Going to be taking on a new project today we're going to be opening up a new area which we're going to be filling with lots of lovely stuff but first of all i need to get to the spawn chunks here we are over in the spawn chunks so off in that direction is the lake where we have all of our ocean monuments and also if you keep going that way you'll get to the base over in that direction is our end portal and over there is our witch farm so we of course are going this way we're going to be looking for some ice spikes i have a nice area over there where i'm going to be building an industrial district so let's see if i can remember where that is excuse me cow I have found the Icy Spikes of Deliciousness. I believe that's what they're called, the Icy Spikes of Deliciousness. So somewhere around here, I left a sign. I'm probably not going to find it by flying around because it's not on the surface. We, we have to go under the water. So uh, this is going to take me a little while to figure out exactly where I was. Steady, boy, steady. I've not found it yet. I know it's somewhere around here, but what I have found, apart from these two lovely gentlemen, is yet another iceberg shipwreck. What is it with these navigators driving into icebergs all the time? This is my second one. We are somewhere around here. We can get quite deep under the water. Oh, it looks like this could be the spot. It obviously does make breathing difficult, and that wasn't the right way. That just led down to a cave. But yeah, somewhere here, there's a big sprawling area, which I need to find before I run out of breath. What it will do... Oh, could this be it? Yes. Doesn't this place look amazing? Wouldn't it be awesome to have a load of uh, cave, a load of caves, a load of farms floating about around here? I can get a bit of oxygen by coming onto here, but this, even this amazing place, isn't everything. Somewhere around here, we can go further down. Yeah, I'll, I'll take some iron while I'm down here. Why not? Oh! Perfect! This has actually led me directly to where I needed to go. This is going to be our new area. Isn't it phenomenal? This is a huge, huge cave. I don't need to get it lit up. So, I think we might do that in a time lapse form. Oh! We we have a abandoned we have an abandoned mine shaft as well. I didn't even spot that, but we found this a few weeks ago on stream. And I did say I had a sign saying that it was mine. I can't really see it, but they're owned by Wab. 
And now everything's going to try to kill me. I'm going to get this place lit up and fight all the mobs off. Things were going so well. I suppose I'd better get back there and try and get my stuff back from that creeper. Well, of course, there's now a thunderstorm. That just makes sense. I think I'm going in the right direction. My concern is once I get there, obviously I'm going to have five minutes to get my stuff back. And I know that there are ways in and out without having to break blocks, but I don't know where they are. I did find one on stream but I cannot remember for the life of me where it appeared. So I'm just going to try not to get struck by lightning. Well, there's the boat I saw earlier. So somewhere around here, I suppose. And also, I don't have my respiration helmet. So I can't spend too long underwater. I need to make sure. I think I just heard a trident. Yeah, I need to make sure I'm not staying underwater for too long or find breathing, such as those magma blocks. I can use the magma blocks for air. I need to find my way down the sooner the better. And hold shift while I'm on these so that they don't deal damage. This might take a little while. Hopefully not, because I can't afford for it to take a little while. That's not the right place. Oh, ah, I need more oxygen. But there are places around there. So I think I might just do this as a bit of a sped up clip. We even sped up. This was going to be a bit boring. I think it's time for a cut. I came in. I managed to kill all my stuff back except for some food and an ender chest. I forgot to hit record. So you are just finding that out now. I've got hit boxes on, which I can turn off now. Um, just because I was trying to find said food and said ender chest. So I'm going to actually have to head back to my base. And, uh, fortunately, this clip is recorded. We didn't have much time to film this episode today, so I thought, before I head all the way back, there is this abandoned mine shaft. Let's see if there's any food in here. And there isn't. There isn't enough any food in there at all. But I thought, well, there might be food through here. There might also be a baby zombie and a spider. So I went through here, started lighting things up. I need to go down those two places. And what I discovered was, oh my God, there is another massive cave right next to it. This is going to be huge. I did not see that coming. I'm glad I got away in time. But yeah, we have an almost fully exposed abandoned mine shaft. This is going to be amazing. I've got to go back, get some food, and start preparing for the next part of this. Eight stacks of torches have been placed. Eight stacks. 
and this place is looking pretty spectacular. Eight stacks of torches, and I haven't even started on this bit of the cave. So there is still a lot more to do, but this is going to make a truly glorious industrial area. But we need an entrance. I can't keep digging through the ceiling. I need a better way in and out. Uh, so I'm going to build myself a little platform in the middle. I'm going to suspend it from the ceiling, so probably somewhere around here. And we're going to make a nice little entrance for ourselves and talk about what exactly I want to do with this place. wasn't that fun. I completely underestimated how much wood I would need, so I had to zip back to my base and grab some more. But we have it all together now. We are suspended off of the floor, which I think is just a bit of, a bit of fun. We are being suspended from the ceiling. I did actually get knocked off the uh, chains while I was placing them, because there are some caves up top which I need to light up. But what do I intend to do with this place? Well, obviously we're going to have to get rid of all of this water and lava, possibly some of the uh, stalactites and stalagmites, though I would quite like to keep as many as possible for the aesthetic. But obviously some of them will get in the way of the farmers because we have a lot of farms to build. Not all of them will be here. Some of them have to be in the nether, for example, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But let's quickly go through them. I try to split them into big categories but not really so we have our various crop farms so beetroot bread and wheat i'm counting as two separate farms because i'm going to need to need to build them as two separate farms um these are all just villagers digging up crops throwing them to other villagers potatoes and carrots work the same way pumpkin and melon can be fully automated so that's fine same with mushroom. This is going to be mushroom and so red and brown mushroom. And then we have the weird one of the chorus fruit at the top. Because why not? I've just realised I that kind of needs to be split into two farms. But tough, I'm counting it as one. I'll build them both at the same time anyway. We have our cocoa beans and then various meat. So steak, pork chop, mutton, chicken, rabbit and salmon. I have no idea how I'm going to do a salmon farm. Remember, all these farms, I have to design myself. That is the plan for this server. Every farm I make is my own design. Then we have the blaze farm. The blaze farm is complete. That's done, so the light is on. A ghast farm, gold, uh, magma creams, nether quartz. That's going to be a piglin bartering farm. I just picked one of the things that they give you. Nether quartz felt like a good choice. Coal from wither skeletons, uh, ender pearls, and of course now we have infinite shulker boxes. This was going to be a shulker shell before my shulker shells have gone to making shulker boxes. So we've gone with that instead because I didn't want to have to come into the end and kill more shulkers for this. We have gunpowder, bones, slime. Oh, the slime farm. I need to finish decorating it, but the slime itself is complete. So let's turn that on. That was bird from the top. One, two, three. Done. Lovely. Uh, so yeah, rotten flesh as well. So that's going to be a general mob farm. We've got prismarine. I know there are some 
ocean monuments around here, yes, I'm going to have to take out another ocean monument, because this one's going to be for a farm, not for rental. The redstone is for the witch farm, which I need to get completed, and then we can have a music disc farm as well. Uh, wood farm at the top. Brown and red mushroom block farms are going to have to be built separately, because giant red mushrooms have a different look to giant brown mushrooms, so I need a different way of farming them. A bone meal farm. An amethyst farm. I completely forgot about amethyst shards until I was placing down the torches because it just so happens that I believe it was over here. Yeah. We have a geode right here. So that is very useful. And yes, I will need to find a better way to and from this. I'm thinking of some a rope bridge down on either side. would be quite nice. They have little geode parameters, uh, glowing sacks and regular ring sacks. Hopefully I can get them both spawning in here. We can definitely get glow squid spawning in here. I know that because it's been happening. Uh, and a lava farm because now we have infinite lava buckets. Uh, sunflowers for all double tall flowers. Sugarcane and cactus, they're all pretty simple. A nether wart farm, I've got a design for that but I'd like to make a bit of a smaller one just so we can fit it in here a bit better. Uh, moss, dripstone. I've not made a dripstone farm before, so that's going to be a fun one. And then scoots and seagrass for some turtles. And then we've got kind of the more minerals, the actual blocks. So we have basalt at the top. Why I put that at the top? No idea. Because then cobblestone and stone are two of the more common ones going to be building an ice farm which should be nice and easy because we are in the ice spikes biome then wool nobles powdered snow which again is going to be a relatively new one and of course an iron farm which i need to get going relatively quickly so that is all the stuff that's going to go in here i am being shot at again oh i, I don't think it's caves i think it's those bits and i don't want to fly over to them because i've only got one rocket left so apart from connecting the nether portal up and i might make this portal smaller because it makes a hell of a racket that is everything i need to do in here today so i'm going to go and get that nether path connected up and possibly break these out so i have the issue at the moment uh, I was going to be doing a completely different episode this week. We were going to be continuing with the ocean monuments. It's taking an awfully long time to dig out the nether. So I just don't have time to get that done. In fact, I kind of have to get this all edited, rendered and ready to go realistically within the next four hours. So I'm on a bit of a time with it. But I'm very happy with how this is going. And yeah, I think a nice bridge down on either side of this will look good. So next time we are here, or we build any farms, it's going to be all about getting rid of all of the water and the lava, making this look good. Obviously up there, you can see we have lava pools. I won't be getting rid of all of that lava, but I'm definitely getting rid of the lava pools and the water pools. But for now, I need to see how long this episode's going. And also reconnect, well not reconnect, but connect this to my nether path. That is all now connected. If we were to head down there, we would find our spawn chunk portal. If we go in that direction, we find everything else. The slime farm, the Christmas district, the end portal area, my base. But through here, we now have a brand new tunnel. And yes, I know, I still need to make the tunnels look good. That's not going to be happening anytime soon. Stop badgering me, me. I have been assured that next week, and I've been assured by myself, but I've been assured that next week, Weird and Bearded's Warehouse and Bunker Ocean Monument Rental Service is going to be finished. But now, this is all I have time for. And I think we've done well. Considering that I've had just a few hours to get everything recorded. Most things are lit up. It's all looking good. I like the look of this little section. I would fly off to give you a better look, but I still don't have any rockets on me. And yeah, 
this is going to be a nice little industrial area for us. We are going to absolutely ruin the aesthetics of this cave. But for now, thank you all for watching. I'm Weird and Bearded, and I will see you next time.